So it doesn't make sense for the banks to do loan modifications because they stand to make more money doing a, uh, it's okay. They stand to make more money doing a foreclosure. Now forbearance, forbearance is a special agreement between the lender and the borrower to delay a foreclosure. Typically, it's for temporary financial problems. So a forbearance, sometimes forbearances will add the bulk of the money onto the end of the loan and you make a smaller payment for three months, sometimes up to 12 months, and then the payment goes back. Forbearance is good, again, for only a temporary financial problem. Yet, you have to qualify with your bank for a forbearance. So sometimes, actually many times, a forbearance isn't a viable option. Deed in lieu of. Deed in lieu of. A lot of banks talk about deed in lieu of. The owner voluntarily deeds their property, signs their property back over to the bank in exchange for a release from all obligations under the mortgage. However, with the deed in lieu of, you still have to qualify for the deed in lieu of. If you're unable to, you have to prove if you're unable to make payments on your house. So you have to submit all your financial information to the bank for them in order to approve a deed in lieu of. And by the way, deed in lieu of, very low percentage of those are actually occurring right now. There's also another program called a lease in lieu of. This is actually more popular than the deed in lieu of. This is after you've exhausted all other alternatives. You have to qualify, again, for the deed in lieu of. You have to provide all your financial information to the bank first. But in the first nine months of 2009, Fannie Mae executed just under 2,000 of these deed in lieu of deals out of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of foreclosures, only 2,000. And this is where you're allowed to lease the property that you're losing in foreclosure, lease it, back from the bank. Freddie Mac has been offering leases to former owners on a month-to-month -month basis, but again, that's only a month-to-month -month basis. It's not guaranteed. And this happens after foreclosure. Now we come to short sale. Short sale is a sale of real estate in which the bank accepts sales proceeds that fall short of the balance owed on the property's loan. In other words, they agree to take less for what they're owed 